Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So I am so excited to do these 3D letters with you. Um, we have already done the O and the other O. So we have Boo coming today. This one is for 12 by 12 cardstock shop. I'm on their design team and I just love, I love being on their design team because I have access to just beautiful paper because look at that moon. And I apologize, normally I have a second camera going, but my second camera today is not working. This one has lights, so I just wanna, I'm gonna turn it on really quickly, not all the lights because the other two are kind of hard to get to and I need tweezers. So it's going to look like, oops, my little blood got on there, okay. So I've got the haunted house, I've got the shaker, and today we're doing just another like full blown letter with decoration on it. I will say there's a couple of things that I wanna talk about. On this one, when you do a shaker, because of the tabs, you can see how thick the tabs are, the edges, you need to make your outline thick enough to hide those edges. So this outline right here and this one needs to be, you need to come up with a design where you can hide your uh, your work because there are tabs and then there's glue. So um, just be careful when you're doing this one. But this one is super fun and our B is gonna be very similar to this just without lights. But I mean, look at how stinking cute that is, right? It's so fun and they're really stable because see like they stand up without any issue, right? So let me put my light sticks back in so it's not running the whole time. And the lights are on Amazon, uh, so you can always check out my Amazon shop for all the materials. Okay, so I'm gonna put, oh, I keep picking up the blood, okay. Look at it, I love this so much. Okay, I'm gonna move this over a little bit. I'll move this down here so we can see that the whole time. Today we're gonna to work a little bit backwards because normally when I do my 3D letters, I like to build the letter and then um, you know add all the fun stuff. But I have all these little pieces around and the blood keeps getting picked up. So let's put together our pieces first and then we'll build our B. So let's look at our serial killer. This one, the you know, I would say like one of the uh, one of the. Uh, what am I trying to say? <laughs> One of the ways to recognize my work is that I like to use um, a lot of the same colors, but with different textures. So either different materials or different types of cardstock even. So in this case, there are only two colors of red. The blood, I, I want it to be gory. And so I wasn't gonna use glitter, but then look at this. I mean, this looks so stinking good. So it's glitter, but it's still. But, so anyway, on this mask, there's like a little bit of red here. I didn't wanna use um, the glitter, glitter cardstock because I felt like that would match the blood too much, right, obviously. And I didn't want it to get lost with some other cardstock, so I went with HTV. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put this down and I've already cut my HTV up here. So I'm going to add the little pieces. And the, normally I would just, um, I would just glue all this together and then iron this on. But the thing is I want to, I want to layer the this mask a little bit. So that's why we're going to do the HTV first. And then, so that's down. I'm just gonna put this on for a couple seconds and it should be fine. Oops. Why is it not? Okay. So we're just gonna iron this on. The red will be a little bit more um, that is so weird. That little piece does not want to stay on. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to pull it off and see. Ooh. Okay, so I messed that up a little bit. <laughs> Let's see what happened here. 
see if I can fix it. Oh no, I made it way worse. Okay, that's just gonna be, no one's gonna notice. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put my little mask back on. So you can see the red down here. The little tip got messed up a little bit, but I'm not gonna worry about that. We're just gonna keep on going. Okay, so here's my other piece. I'm gonna put this down. And then I'm going to put my last red down. So you see, I feel like, because I can see the, the what you guys are seeing, and I feel like that red is popping out. Oh, oh my gosh. What am I doing? There you go. Oh, I don't know what is going on today. I'm like struggling with my HTV today. Normally, I love my HTV. All right, I'm gonna do the last one. I'm going to blame it because <laughs> you know I don't want to take total blame for it. Um, I haven't had breakfast. Maybe that's I, I don't like to craft on an empty stomach, but I wanted to get this done. All right, so here is holy. I'm just I knew that would happen. I got a little bit of HTV on my mask. Okay. So here is my red, but you can see how the red, I feel like it pops out a little bit better. This one I'm going to, I was gonna stick up a little bit. So um, what you would do with that is, let me move this out of the way. I'm gonna turn that off, move it out of the way before I burn myself this morning. So give me one second. All right, um, I love using foam tape. So. Let's put this on, let's see which side, okay, here we go. I'm gonna put a little bit everywhere, well not everywhere, but just to make it balanced. So I have a straight line down, so it's gonna stay propped up. I'm gonna use my Barely Art glue to make sure that my glue dots aren't going anywhere, or my foam dots, or whatever we wanna call this stuff. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna take this off my mat. And then we're gonna do the blood and the blade afterwards, which is my favorite. All right, here we go. So I'm making sure that normally, um, I would just stick my glue gun here, but because the mask is such a light colored cardstock, I don't want my glue to show through at all. So that's why I'm putting barely art glue to make sure. Okay, so here we go. All right, so my mask is down. You can see the red. That's gonna be somewhere over here on the B. All right, let's look at this blade. This blade is just to die for. <laughs> don't worry, I don't have a lot of those. All right, here is the blade. I went with this gorgeous cardstock that has like details to it. So it just looks like an expensive knife. And then this is like um, a silver um, mirror foil. So, all right, let's put the blade together. This is the handle, I mean. So on this one, um, I'm just going to put this glue gun down. Okay. That should be enough. Okay. And then let's put this blood on. This blood is incredible. I love it. Okay. So the blood is going to be, I'm going to take my Barely Art glue um, and I'm just going to run it along the edge of the blade. Okay. Isn't 
is so good. I absolutely love it. Okay, so this little guy is on. I'm going to put... Uh, the, you know, the only thing I don't like about this design is this blade should have gone all the way across so that you could have easily put this down. But now we have just a small little section to glue it, which is okay, but I don't love it. I'm going to, um, what should I do? I want to put it up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to use this, which normally I don't recommend using your piece as, you know, um, I just want to hold this down a little bit longer so that it dries flat. Okay. And put a little bit of glue right here. Okay, look at this knife. So good. <laughs> all right. Okay, so we're gonna put the blade down. Um, all right, so let's build our B. The blood we'll put on afterwards. So this, we're good. It's a really simple one. All right, so this is our bottom. And then what we're doing is we're basically putting, putting our tabs like this and then our B is going to sit on top so if you look at this is our bottom right and then these are the tabs and then so you have a really thick letter it's really stable um I bought this from Nilmara Quintella on Etsy and I will say I've worked with different letters um different files and I really, really like this one because my letters are super stable. They're thick, and so they stand up. Because I've seen some where you need to stabilize them by adding like weights to the bottom so that it will stand up properly. And this one, I've done a ton of them, and I've never had to. So, all right, let's build our letters. So, whenever you have like the O or the B, you have a middle piece that you need to build, right? Those pieces should be done first because just look at how this is and then I need to stick my hand in to get to this little part. It's a lot harder to do. So let's move this aside. Let's build our inside. So you can see a lot of times they she has these little um, markers to tell you where to go. But I would say that when you do these letters, it, it's to me, it seems obvious where it should go because look at these are our inside tabs, right? One is smaller than the other. So obviously the smaller one, the bigger one, right? And then this edge for the B, it has to be this piece. This is the only piece that has this long edge, okay? All right, so when you're doing this part, just fold all your tabs wherever you have a cut line or a score line. Now you have an option of either scoring it or cutting it. I personally like to cut it because when you cut it, it's easier to fold these tabs. So it takes a little bit longer because it's um, they're cut lines, right? So it's like a little dash cut, 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 cut. But I find that it's easier to work with. The other thing is, so you have these tabs that you know will be glued down like this. At the edge, you have a tab, which means it folds like this. So when you have pieces like that, what I like to do is, I like to glue them into place. So let's take out our glue. So you're gonna glue along the tab line it up and I like using barely art glue for this because it gives me just enough time to line things up and make adjustments then I use a paper clip 
to hold it in place. I'm gonna put that one down, I'm gonna do the next one. And same thing with this one. And put my paper clip in place. And go back to this one. So this one's my smaller one. I'm gonna fold the tabs out because the glue basically, here, let me show you. Let me pull out my paper clip by now. So the tabs go out like this because you're gonna be gluing this so that the top layer goes on and you're gonna be gluing this so that it's gonna be glued down to the bottom layer like this, okay? So let's get our glue. Okay, and then line it up. Sorry, that was my head. <laughs> Once it's lined up, what I like to do is I like to take one of these tools and just, you know, really press down to make sure that I have good contact and that it's being glued down. Now this B is gonna be covered. And what I mean by covered is like you can't see on the inside, like this O, as opposed to this one where you can see it, right? I know you can't really, really see, but you can see my sequence on the inside, right? You can see that moving. So when it's open, you wanna be careful as to like what glue is being used and how you're placing it. But on this one, you're not gonna see it. So what I end up doing is I take my hot glue gun then, and I really glue on the surface of this so let me pull this up so you can have a better angle at it like this okay and i'm going to show you so i'm just taking my glue gun and i'm making sure this isn't going anywhere and i'm doing this because no one's going to see this so you see how i glued it all the way around just to make sure it's not going anywhere all right let's look at our next b or the next hole and same thing, we're gonna fold out all our tabs so that we get it glue ready. Okay, and then I'm gonna put glue down on these four tabs. And then line it up, and then again, I'm just making sure that it gets good pressure. It's um, anchoring itself down. Okay, and then, just like I did the other one, I'm just gonna add, well, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> All right, here we go. I glued it to my mat a little bit. This is what's great about working on a self-healing mat. I just got my glue gun on there, no big deal. Okay, it's off. <laughs> All right, so that's down. Let's work on our big tabs. So here's my first one. Again, you gotta fold where all the score or cut lines are. But this is fun, right? Um, I like doing this project. They come out so cute, and it's great for like, if you have a, um, like a hallway table where you always do your decorations and people come in and see. I love doing the 3D letters for that. So like Boo, um, Mary, right? Like you don't have to spell out a ton of things. Like we don't wanna do Merry Christmas unless you've got a ton of time, um, which I don't right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so you wanna pick just, you know, like joy, right? So like three, three letters or so is just about right. Okay, so here's our B and it's gonna go like this. So I am going to glue this down along the edges. And because this, the length of the B is my longest one, I'm gonna do that first. 
I'm going to line that up first. So you saw that it, it gave me a little bit of time to make my adjustments and now I'm just pressing it down because look at how hard my hands are pretty I would say on the, on average I would say small on the small side and like it, it would be really hard to get in there so it's definitely better to do these first just like for the O I did that middle ring first okay and at this time if you wanted to it would be a good time to get your glue gun in there. And I'm gonna need to put another glue stick down or in. Give me a second. All right, here we go. All right, so I'm gonna stick that in. I'm gonna add a little bit more glue just to make sure this isn't going anywhere. All right, so we're almost done. Now let's fold this last one. Now this last one will have a tab connecting to this one. See, it's this tab right here. So I haven't quite decided. It's marginal, it's like, 51 to 49 as to connecting the tabs before I put down um, because sometimes everything lines up more easily but then you have less flexibility so the glue dries so quickly right all right so here we go so all right let's put down our glue It's a hot mess. I'm like not able to line it up today. Okay. So I'm just going to take it one, one section at a time. And on this one, I'm not as worried about the glue because we can always glue from the inside, right? So I'm just going to line it up as best as I can. And then knowing that oops, I have the tabs to glue together, this one did not line up very well. Okay. All right. So I'm going to glue this tab right now. So I'm going to just squeeze in my glue. that's down then I've got this tab over here same thing and then from the inside I'm sticking my finger in and um, pressing up to give it some pressure to adhere okay so that is all good. I'm going to show you. So look at, this is the, ins, our yucky bee on the inside, right? 
but no one's gonna see that. But here's what it looks like on the outside. Right, so pretty. I used two different blacks. Um, this is regular black cardstock, not the expensive one. And then I used this sheen, like silver one, like gunmetal. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna glue this down for sure on the inside because I know I struggled with that. So let me make sure that it's all down. Okay, it's all down. So now what you wanna do is for these tabs that are left, I'm gonna fold them out a little bit because I want it, when I fold it back in, I kind of want it to pop, spring up a little bit so that my glue um, touches the top of this B and we get a good, um, like a good anchor going. Okay, there's a lot of things for us to glue on this one, okay? So now that they're out, which is obviously not the way it's supposed to be, right? Because look at so I'm going to fold everything in, but let it kind of like sit up, but just so that I can get the surface going to glue everything down. Okay, this is a lot of glue that we need to put down, okay? So here we go. Oh my gosh, I put the glue down on the wrong thing. <laughs> on the inside, it doesn't matter, but now I gotta hurry. Duh, what was I thinking? Okay, glue goes this way. I'm like, wait a minute, that doesn't look right. Okay, there we go. So when you put this top down, you wanna basically use your whole hand to kind of guide the shape of the tabs. So you need to push and squeeze where you need to <clears throat> to get it to all line up. Oh my gosh, that, this is gonna be so pretty. So here's our B. So it's gonna look like this. Oops. Okay, so let's decorate this B. Um, I've got this mask, right? I have some blood. I wanted this to go. Let me get my glue strings out. Okay. I wanted this to go like across. One more piece of blood, I think. Oh my gosh. My glue is getting stuck everywhere. Okay. And kind of, that's, that's the look I was going for. Okay, here's a little bit more blood, which we can put over here. What do you think? Okay, I think we're ready. So on this, I think the knife, I want it to pop out a little bit, but the blood I'm gonna want right on the thing. So I'm just gonna use glue, put, And we can add the cobwebs on this one too to hide any any imperfections if we need to. 
this knife I'm gonna have pop out a little bit, so I'm gonna flip it over and add foam tape to it. like this middle O is like so out there. I've got scary, scary, and then glitzy. <laughs> okay, this one, I'm going to put the hot glue gun. Make sure it's not going anywhere. This one. Okay. Everything's down, and then this needs to be maybe up here. Because I want this to stand, so you can't have this down here, because then it won't be able to stand like this, okay? So I'm gonna put him maybe like right here, and I want him to pop up a little bit. So I'm gonna do, let's see, where is he gonna go? So along here, I'm gonna put double foam tape, okay? So here's our first layer. And we're almost done. And then I'm gonna glue the dots down to make sure they're not going anywhere and then glue it to the letter B. So right now I'm gonna take this for instance and I'm just going to make sure that my glue dots aren't going any, my foam dots aren't going anywhere. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm gonna put it on top and then I'm gonna hold it in place. So if we want to, we can put a little bit of cobwebs on that one as well. And I think we are done, yay! So I hope that was helpful, um, that you guys get your holiday 3D letter messages going on, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you!